This tutorial explains how to use the unique features of Pundit Live Array Pro when carrying out an area scan for detecting thickness variations. The example I'm going to use is to look for voids between the tunnel inner shell and the waterproofing membrane that separates it from the shotcrete outer layer. Here we can see a tunnel segment between two construction joints. The scanning is carried out along the construction joint, a certain number of rows, and then along the apex of the tunnel, resulting in this typical T-shaped measuring grid. Physically, we move the transducer 80 centimeters between each test location, but on the line scan setting, we recommend using the minimum gap of 5 centimeters so we can see more information on a single screen. Now that we've scanned the entire line, we can use the unique AI tagging feature of Pundit Live Array Pro to automatically detect the back wall echoes at each test location. Quickly check to see if the tag has been set at the correct position for each location. In position 1, we can see it's actually detected the second back wall echo. We could delete this, or we can drag it to the correct position aligning it with the peak of the A-scan. Here we see another one that hasn't been detected. We can enter this manually by tapping on the screen, saving the tag, and then again dragging it to line the cursor with the peak of the A-scan. The big advantage over a single channel instrument or impact echo is that at each location we have a complete B-scan so it is very clear where the actual back wall echo is and it is very easy to distinguish it. The next step is to calibrate the pulse velocity at a location where the thickness is known. To do this we simply select the tag at the correct location, enter the actual thickness and the pulse velocity is calibrated automatically. Here we can see the correct pulse velocity. Typically you would only do this once for each construction joint. Now we are in a position to export the data file. Of course this is a very simple matter using the communication capabilities of the iPad. We could for example already transfer the data to a colleague who could start working on the data processing before we've even left the site or you could transfer it to your own account to work on later. The exported CSV file contains the depth information for each tag. We simply copy this and paste it into our spreadsheet in the correct line position. We fill in the subsequent line positions as we complete each scan and then use conditional formatting to highlight areas where we may have a problem. It's as simple as that. 